Hello everyone, it's Elizabeth. In this video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than I normally do. I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial and nail art tutorial, combining all of this into a massive Taylor Swift themed video. So I'm going to be recreating the makeup look that she did on her Entertainment Weekly cover, and then I'm just going to be doing some fun Taylor Swift themed nails. So I'm really excited for this video. If you're interested in seeing the final product, then just keep on watching. So just as a little backstory, I am absolutely obsessed with Taylor Swift. I think she's an amazing role model. I've loved her since day one. I started listening to her music when I was a really young child and I've just kind of grown up with her. I think she's a class act. I really respect her and everything that she does. I love all her music and the new song Me is just amazing and it's just a really feel-good anthem and so I really wanted to recreate something Taylor Swift themed and then she came out with this new uh, magazine cover. I have my jean jacket on, it's a lot darker than her uh, picture is, but I just kind of wanted to do like a fun Taylor Swift themed video. So I'm going to start off by doing the makeup that is on the cover that she has. So it's very colorful like her whole new era is, which I love. I love pastels, I love color. And so her makeup is like this pink and blue, almost like a cotton candy feel to it. It's very glowy, love the highlight in there. And then she does have her hair pink. I obviously don't have my hair pink. So that will be something that's missing and obviously my jacket's a lot darker and I don't have any of those fun pins like she has but I'm going to do my best of recreating that look and then I'll just really get into the nails too. So I'll leave a timestamp where you can start watching the nail portion of this video if you're not really interested in the makeup part but if you are in the makeup, interested in the makeup part then let's get right into it. So I'll put a picture somewhere um, of this cover picture because she's just absolutely gorgeous. There's all kinds of easter eggs in the pins that she's wearing and I've been reading all the theories about the new music, the new album title, and she keeps saying like there's a reason she was speaking French in the beginning of her me music video, Je suis calm. I know I completely butchered that but it means I am calm. And I really have a feeling that something, there has to be something to do with either the next single or the album title of being calm or maybe in French something about being calm. So that's like my theory. I just, I love reading all the theories and I love how she is really interacting with the fans this time around and really incorporating all those Easter eggs because I think it's so much fun to try to decode and figure out everything that she's trying to do. So like I said, her makeup look is very colorful. So I already have my foundation on. I did a little bit of blush and quite a bit of highlight because she has quite a bit of highlight and she's just honestly gorgeous and I wish I could look like Taylor Swift. But um, in this picture too, you can really see um, all her highlight and how gorgeous the makeup look is. But it's honestly, I, I want to say like pretty simple compared to other makeup looks I've seen on magazine covers. So that's why I'm going to do my best to try to recreate this look. So let's just get right into it. So if you zoom in really close, it looks like her entire lid is covered in some type of shimmery gold shadow. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm using this one from ColourPop. This is in the shade Reversible and it's their Super Shock Shadow. It's amazing. I love, love, love this shade. Uh, I use this one a lot because it's just honestly really a great shade. It's got some shimmer in there but it's not too over the top so you can really use it as an everyday look. So I zoomed in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to be taking this gold shade and just popping it all over the lid because honestly it doesn't look like she has any transition shade in the crease. It just really looks like she just has the gold all over the lid. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. And I am using my finger. These super shock shadows I barely just dipped into it. And it's crazy how pigmented and metallic and just gorgeous these shades are. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it all over the lid. And then another thing I just love about Super Shock Shadows is it literally took me maybe five seconds to put that all over my eye and now I already have eyeshadow on for the day. So that's why I love these shadows if you are kind of in a hurry, you just want some eyeshadow on but you don't have a ton of time to blend things out, this is perfect for you. So there we are and I'll be very honest with you, I didn't prime my eyes and that's another thing I love about Super Shock Shadows is that you really don't have to worry about primer because they do last a really long time. I didn't prime my eyes for this look because I know I'll be taking it off because it is a little bit 
crazier than normal makeup that I typically do. So I'll be taking it off pretty soon after I finish the look, but I just thought it would still be fun to do it. So now for the next part of the look, I'm going to be using this accent brush from Real Techniques and this bright pink shadow right here from ColourPop. It's from one of their palettes, a I want to say two years now so I don't think it's still available but I know there are a lot of other brands that have bright pink eyeshadow shades if you are interested in recreating this look. So I'm going to take this brush and the dark pink and just really focus it underneath here and really concentrating most of the color towards here and then blending it out towards the inner portion of my eye. look at Taylor's picture the pink actually flicks out kind of like a wing so I'm going to do that just still using the same brush because I think it's pretty effective I'm just going to flick the color out just a little bit like a wing so now that the pink is done I know it doesn't look exactly like her picture I'm not a professional makeup artist but now that the pink is on, I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of that blue she has. And I'm going to be using this liner brush from Real Techniques again. And I'm actually going to go into my Jaclyn Hill palette and use this more like turquoise teal color. I just really think that will help bring the color pop a little bit. I have blue art eyeshadows, but I just really think that this one is like a really great matte shade that will help create the look that I'm really going for. So if you look at her picture, the blue actually doesn't even go over like where typical eyeliner would it just stays out towards the outer portion of her eye so that's exactly what I'm going to go ahead and do I'm just going to get my brush loaded up with some color and then I'm just going to pop it on the outer portion of my eye right on top of that pink For lashes, when you look really close at the picture, it doesn't look like she has false lashes on. It just looks like she has really thick coats of mascara on. So again, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes, and then I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. This stuff is fantastic, and it really helps uh, make your lashes look super thick and voluminous. So there is one coat of the mascara and I really think that her lashes were a lot thicker than this so I'm going to do two, maybe even three coats and I'm also going to focus the mascara on my bottom lashes as well instead of doing a black eyeliner because I also don't think that she really had a lot of eyeliner, I think it was just that really concentrated mascara on both the upper and lower lashes. So now moving on to lips, she has more like a peachier nude lip to really draw attention more towards her fun eye look. So the lipstick I'm going to go ahead and use is Drop Top, which is a cream lippy stick from ColourPop. I don't even think they make these anymore. It's two years old, um, but I really love this. It's a great peachy shade and I'm going to go ahead and top it with For the Clout So Juicy lip gloss again from ColourPop and this is one of their lip plumping lip glosses. So for the gloss, just to really accentuate my lips, I do have really small lips to try to make them look a little bit bigger. I'm really going to focus the gloss towards the center of my lips. So I actually totally lied. After I did the lips, I completely forgot to do inner corner highlight, which she totally has. So I'm going to be using this uh, brush from Morphe. This is Morphe X Jaclyn Hill, and this is the JH39 brush for inner corner highlight. And I'm going to go ahead in with this blinding inner corner highlight shade and just really coat the inner corner of my eyes because that is a really big portion of this look. And it's very obvious that she has inner corner highlight, and I cannot believe... I almost forgot to do this, especially since this is my favorite thing to do because it just really opens up and brightens and widens the eye. So now that that's done, now we can go ahead and try to recreate the look that Taylor Swift did. 
now that is it for the makeup portion of this look and now I'm gonna go ahead and do my nails inspired by the whole new TS7 Taylor Swift era. To start off this nail look, I'll be applying a thin layer of base coat to protect my natural nails and to make sure that my manicure lasts as long as possible. For my pinky, I'm applying two thin coats of this pastel pink shade because Taylor Swift is very into pastels for this new era of hers. And then I will be putting this white chunky glitter on top because if you notice, a lot of her nail looks recently have just been a pastel color with a bunch of glitter on top, so that is what I'm theming it towards. And then just to seal off the look, I'm applying a thin layer of top coat. To create the nail looks on both my ring finger and pointer finger, I'm starting off with a thin coat of white nail polish and letting it dry completely. On a damp makeup sponge, I'm applying some fun pastel shades. So I'm using pink, yellow, blue, and coral. And I'm theming both of these looks kind of based off of her Instagram profile picture. If you take a look at it, it's these beautiful pastel colored clouds. So that is what I themed these kind of nails based off of. So then I am just taking the sponge, sponging it onto both of my both my ring and pointer fingers, and then just reapplying the colors and re-sponging as often as I need to to get my desired opacity. I'm a very impatient person, so I didn't use liquid latex around my cuticles like you probably should, so I am cleaning up the old-fashioned way with a cleanup brush dipped into some acetone, but if you are a little bit more patient than me, you could totally use liquid latex to apply around your cuticles to protect them from any mess. And then on my pointer finger, I'm applying a layer of holographic top coat and regular top coat to make it gorgeous and glittery and just absolutely beautiful. And I actually have the pastel nails on all of my nails, this whole pastel look. I'm just obsessed with it. And then for my ring finger, I am taking some black nail polish and a really thin nail art brush and I'm going to do a butterfly look. So if you watch her Me Music video, the snake in the beginning turns into butterflies and butterflies seem to have a really big role in this whole new TS7 era. And I'm obsessed with butterflies, so this is perfect for me. And honestly, butterfly nail art is some of my favorite nail art to do. So I know I'm not really explaining this because it's kind of self-explanatory. You can watch the tutorial. I do a curved line towards the cuticle of my nail, three lines coming off of that. And then I curve the lines, curve some lines in from the straight lines from the tip of my nail and then filling in that empty space with black nail polish and then adding some white toothpick dots to really complete the butterfly. And then I'm applying another layer of top coat and there we have it. This final look is inspired by the Me single cover. So I'm taking two thin coats of a light blue nail polish and then I'm taking a nail art brush dipped into some pastel pink polish to make the flowers. So if you take a look at the Me single cover, it has those beautiful flowers on the pastel blue background. So that is what I'm trying to recreate. So I am just kind of making random blobs and lines. These do not need to be perfect at all. I think the final product looks really good even when you do kind of random lines like this. If you are a bit more particular than me, then you can take more time, try to add more detail, but I really loved how they turned out. So once I was done with all of the pastel color, I'm taking a darker pink, almost like a fuchsia color, and just kind of mixing it into that light pink shade while it's still wet so it really blends in nicely. And I really, again, these nails and florals are super easy to do if you just do random lines like this. And I think it looks super cute. I know it kind of just looks like blobs, but I really like how it turns out. But again, if you are a bit more picky, you could totally add more detail as you want. Then I'm taking a green polish and adding some stems and leaves to the flowers to really complete this look and add a bit more detail.
Finally, I'm just adding a layer of top coat and that is it for this design. And I'm honestly obsessed with how all of these nails turned out. I think my favorite is the butterfly nail. I love butterflies, so I think they just look super cute. But I love this whole manicure. I love how it kind of combines all these pastels together. You could mix and match these nails. You can do kind of like what I did, but Honestly, totally up to you. I really hope you guys did enjoy this nail art tutorial because it was so much fun to do and I just really love Taylor Swift. So that is it for this fun Taylor Swift themed video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you kind of liked how I'm incorporating makeup and nail art into videos. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year and I'd love if we could do it before December 31st. So be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you can be notified anytime I post a new video. I post a new video every single Friday and then now that it's summer, I'll probably be throwing in some videos throughout the week, so you definitely don't want to miss out on those. So be sure to ring the bell. And I'll be posting pictures of this look on Instagram. I would love if you could hop over to my Instagram at the Elizabeth Ann and tag Taylor Swift or try to somehow show Taylor Swift that I did this look because honestly, I would just cry for hours if I found out that Taylor Swift saw my video. That would be the highlight of my life, honestly. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love doing makeup and nails, so hopefully I'll be able to do more videos like this soon, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.